New information tonight on a very sad story about an Amazon warehouse worker who died in a for forklift accident. Tonight, we're learning a little more about that, a lot more about another workplace accident, and a broader sad trend. Here's Seth Kaplan. You hear it all the time. OSHA is investigating. We routinely investigate fatalities. Kevin Chambers. I am the area director for OSHA's Harrisburg area office. We have on average about 15 fatalities. In workplaces OSHA covers in this region of 14 counties each October through September. This year, already 20. When that happened, it was weighing on my head, weighing on my heart. This announcement born of more emotion than most government press releases. And while I was writing it, we had a 21st fatality. So that just drove it home even further that we need to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, get the information out there to the public. Information first about what happened, the early August Amazon accident in Carlisle. Involved a, a collision of two forklifts and then uh, one of the employees that was working at, at height ended up falling along with the forklift and striking the, the floor. Late July at J&K Salvage in Springettsbury Township. There was an employee that was conducting some work on a forklift. Uh, and the forklift dislodged and ended up uh, falling on him and, and crushing him. We had had five workplace fatalities in about a three and a half week period, just beginning at the end of July. A lot of times they're highly preventable. Pamela Gay. I'm the York County coroner. A common theme among people who die at work. One thing that they think is going to kind of be a shortcut, and it's a, it's actually um, cuts out the safety elements, like getting under heavy piece equipment or um, maybe operating something without a belt. Employers are legally responsible for providing safe workplaces. Still, it's our lives. A few pieces of advice. If something feels a little bit off, if it's uh, we call it dumb, different, or dangerous, stop for a second. Tell your employer. If they don't fix it, go on our public website, OSHA.gov, or even call on our, our uh, toll-free hotline, 1-800-321-OSHA, and file an online complaint saying, we have a hazard here. Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.